Right there, baby. Good morning, everyone. It's day four. Today, we are going to do a repeat of yesterday, but with a lot better execution. We're gonna head down, get set up, do some cow calls, maybe do a locate bugle, see if we can bring them in, but be ready for them. We're gonna execute a lot better today. That's the plan. Well, the bull we heard is up and over that point, and we've discovered probably why he's there. It's like a ravine with a waterfall and a rock face. And you actually were up there the other day, but you have to go about three quarters of a mile up and hook your way around. Finally made it back up to the top, a little mesa, a little meadow where our camp is. For some reason yesterday this hill seemed so much smaller when we got into a bunch of elk and had opportunities. Today was just suck pretty much the whole time. And then this hill really sucked climbing back up, but looks like it's going to be socked in and raining the rest of the day, so it might be time to, I don't know, play cards or something. Oh guys, it started getting sunny. It's been raining all day. We got our excited to start getting our hunting gear on. And then another cloud burst happened, so we all just ran into the tent as quickly as we could. Bit of a train wreck in here right now, but at least we're not getting dripped on. Quit raining for a minute. We're gonna hope that it doesn't rain a whole bunch for the rest of the evening. It's quite chilly. Put an extra layer of clothes on. Heard those bugles, the bulls bugling at the thunder last night down off this ridge. So we're gonna go start up there tonight, see if he's still there. So come along, we'll see what we can find. Guess what guys, it's raining again. We had about 45 minutes of no rain and now it's socked in once again. We find ourselves underneath trees. Did hear four bugles in between the rainstorms though. Way, way, way down that direction. Oh, mountain rain shower. What's the plan now with these silent elk? Well, we can't start a forest fire because it just rained. That won't work. We did a better job on that bread today, Dale. Oh, look at look that. At it. Wow. We put a little, uh, Little flour underneath the uh, noodle the dough. boiling spaghetti and meatball sauce. Wow. And then Jason even warmed up the bread for you. He said Dale likes it at 127 degrees, so he put <laughs> just the right amount of coals on there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thanks for all the excellent food this trip, guys. All right, guys, here's our beautiful fire at the end of day four. Today we had pretty much every form of weather you can have, from sunshine to rain to sleep. 
snowing a little while ago. And I think the elk knew the weather was weird today because they were super quiet compared to any other day we've been up here. Come to Papa. Alright guys, this was supposed to be a... Breakfast on a wet Wednesday. Yep. Rained pretty much all night. Everything soaked. Yep. Slow start this morning. Oops, very slow. We got to get a fire started in the tent this morning at 4 30. That heats up fast with that deal, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. What's the difference between that and what Dale has? Just different brand? The base, the way the water, the way the air comes in. Waiting on the cameraman. I think the cameraman's ready. You ready? You ready now, I'm Dale? Ready. You ready? Sure. Wednesday morning, uh, rained all night long, pretty much. We woke up at 5 o'clock, it was pouring rain, so we weren't really thinking that it would be that greatest hunt in the world going out in pouring rain, and it pretty much rained on and off till about 8 o'clock, now it just picks up and drizzles, and forecast on my inner each says it's going to keep doing this all day long. Jason amazingly got a fire started with sopping wet wood, and we're drying stuff out, and Maybe hoping to have at least a little bit of an evening hunt. If it doesn't turn into another downpour. It's actually even turned to a little bit of snow last night. It would have been wonderful if it was cold enough that it would have been snow. Because then it would have been epic to go out and hunt in a foot of snow. But I'm thinking it would be six, six, eight inch, six or eight inches from the amount of rain we got if it was snow. So a lot, a lot of moisture. Uh, I don't know. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunny. So maybe after a bunch of rain and the elk are bedded down for a while in cooler temperatures, let the sun come back out. Maybe tomorrow might be really good. But always tough when you lose a day of hunting to rain. So snow, wind, I can handle all those things. Rain kind of always blows down the hunt. Coffee. So lots of coffee. coffee Listen time. to some podcasts. Trying to pass the day. Alright guys, this is a really long day five campfire talk session. What the heck happened today, Josh? Rain, rain everywhere, not an elk to hunt. It pretty much rained on and off non-stop all day today. But everything we own is damp or completely wet. Fire's nice. Let's hope this uh, kicks off the rut a little bit better tomorrow because they were pretty much silent today. Well, good morning guys. It's the day after the longest day of hunting ever and we didn't hunt at all just because it was just so miserable and raining pretty much all day, all forms of weather in one day. Today should be a much better day according to the forecast on the inReach. So we're looking forward to hoping getting down in the area where the elk were active a few days ago. Hoping they're kind of antsy like we are antsy. Hopefully they're going to get out of their beds this time and scream at us so we can try to call them in. So wish us luck. Come along.
exciting but uh, there's like a mini Grand Canyon right there and now it's sounding like he's on the other side. Just kind of moving away. Maybe we can find a different one to play with us, I don't know. Well he had him going pretty good. He seemed to fade away and then come back and be interested for a minute but we're not drawing him up this hill. The wind's going into 45 so we don't think he winded us. I don't know if he's got cows and he's just following his cows and the cows are pulling him away. Well, he dropped way down in this canyon. He just keeps coming back and bugling and then disappearing and then he hasn't come back for a while. So we think he's over the next ridge. So we'll just go deeper and steeper, see if we can't get closer to him again. I don't, he's answering really good, getting pretty aggressive, but he didn't want to close the distance. Steep, steep. We all slipped and fell a couple times. Last time we heard him, he's up there. I'm not sure he crossed the creek down there. We think, it, we think this one actually has cows. Josh actually spotted one cow. And we think the cows are pulling him that way. Just above him, just barely above him. Having a yard sale in the sun, just dry everything out, start charging everything back up. Heading out for a little after late afternoon hike and go walk a horse trail and see if I hear any bugles and just get a little bit of hunting in tonight. I don't usually like night hunts as much as morning hunts, but so get our time in and see what we can see. From the bear spot. From the bear spot go down to where you see some pine trees. Okay, in the aspens? Right above them. Focus on it. I'm stuck in a rainstorm. I had a bull that just decided he wanted to start bugling. Every time it thunders and lightnings, he goes off and bugles. He's pretty close, actually. So, starting to run out of daylight. Not sure if uh, I'm gonna be able to do anything. If the rain's gonna stop before the sun goes down or not, but. Uh, yeah, ducked underneath the tree for a second so I can not get completely soaked. Oh, there's the thunder. Let's see if we hear another bugle. About that time, he's been bugling almost every time he hears thunder. Pretty crazy. We'll see what happens. Same little drainage. Guys, okay, so a 
the other tag we have in our pockets. Clear as day bear track right here. Well, the guy's checking our game camera. Got a picture of a nice bull. A moo cow bull. There's a small herd of cattle up in this whole area. I guess the camera was working. Pictures of me and this cow, and that's it. So I'm glad we did not sit here for three days straight. Well guys, one o'clock today. We heard a couple really distant bugles. Almost they were Joe, kind of, sort of by camp, I guess. Took a little nap, we're gonna head back. Jason's got a new plan for tomorrow. Uh, try to come through this route a little bit above them, because we've seen them kind of go up the valley twice, heard them anyway. Maybe we can get more in front of them, because he did not want to turn around and come to us today. We've been walking and hunting for almost five hours now. It's not for lack of trying. Still having fun though. 49.5. Pretty good guess at where you stopped then. Low. Does he have the camera set right then for what you were saying, no, Josh? We we're going to test it and see. He always makes it hard for me. All right, another campfire recap of today. Oh. Drying out, because it doesn't rain just one day. You have to deal with the rain for two days. Uh, got up this morning, kind of similar plan. Dropped in pretty deep. Got a couple of bugle responses right away. Started setting up and it just sounded like he just kept moving away from us every time we did a setup. We'd get responses, but he just wouldn't come in. Um, the thought is he's got some cows with him now and he's herded up and he's afraid of maybe losing them. So as soon as we put the pressure on, he moves out. So we need to uh, make a different plan for tomorrow. Maybe go in high and maybe cut him off before he gets to where he's going. We'll see. Other than that, uh, did a little target practice this afternoon and had a little uneventful trail hike this after or this evening. So that's it.